Sometimes, I like to go to the zoo, where all the animals are in cages, and no matter what you say or do, they can't get out and hurt you. Some of the exhibits have these big glass walls instead of bars. Oh, those are my favorite, because you can go right up and be face to face with the animals. Oh, the, the reptile house has this huge python. His head is as big as a watermelon. He really likes to lie in the water with his head just above water level. I call him Titan because he's so big. People are scared of Titan. I mean, even though he's in his cage, he still makes people hover together on the other side of the room. Just for fun, I like to lie down beside Titan's cage, and I put my head right even with his, and I look him right in the eye. And then when he flicks his huge forked tongue against the glass, I flick mine back at him. People gasp, and they say things like, oh, look at that girl, she's gonna get hurt. Someone needs to get a zookeeper over here right away. Some dumb stuff like that. I mean, like Titan can really break through six inches of glass. Just break right through, coil around me, and bite my head off. That'd be cool. <sighs> People are so dumb sometimes. I think that just because something looks mean and evil that it really is. And just because something looks cute and cuddly that it's really nice. Like a raccoon. But man, have you ever seen a pissed off raccoon? Because one time I saw this one zookeeper have to get taken to the hospital to try and save his hand because it got torn in two by a raccoon. They saved most of it, but He's still missing the tip of his pinky. I just love everything about the zoo. I like to watch the fish in the coral reef aquarium. How they just kind of float and glide through life without a care in the world. must be nice to live like that. My mom says that when she gets out, we can have our very own fish aquarium and I can pick out as many different kinds of fish as I want. My, my mom is in jail right now. She had some bad checks and some other money problems and I'm not really sure. I, I just know it had to be pretty bad for someone like her to go to jail. I miss my mom a lot. She always knew just the right way to hug me and make me feel all special inside. I live with my dad now. I didn't really want to, but I didn't have a choice because my grandma has this very tiny apartment and she didn't have anywhere for me to stay. I mean, even though she said that she would, and I don't take up that much space. But the people in the building downtown said that I have to stay with dad at least until mom gets out. But anyway, I, I come to the zoo all the time, like every day if I can. <laughs> I know all of the zookeepers by name, and they know me too. <laughs> they tease me and say that they're gonna have to build me a place to stay in the zoo. That would be nice. But sometime, I like to go from exhibit to exhibit and see how fast I can make it through the zoo. But then other times, I like to follow around families and I give them their very own personal tour because I know all the animals really well. And I'm getting pretty good at it. I mean, if, if I had a uniform, 
and a name tag, and a microphone. I mean, you wouldn't know I didn't work here. My favorite exhibit is the one that I come to visit the most. The hyena. <laughs> See, he has a glass cave too. Spotted hyena, also known as the laughing hyena. Carnivorous, dog-like animal, native to Asia and Africa. Noted for being scavengers of all scavengers. Distinguished by four toes on each foot, long forelegs, non-retractable claws, and very strong jaws and teeth. Preys on weaker creatures and the carcasses left by larger predators. Noted for its peculiar, eerie, laughing like fall. <laughs> I like his peculiar, eerie, laughing like call. Even though his cage is glass, but not as thick as Titans, but still glass, I can still hear him. And he can hear me. Sometimes we even talk to each other. Nobody else can talk to him but me. The zookeepers say that I have a way with him, that he likes me. See, I like the hyena exhibit because it's, it's kind of set off by itself and there's no other exhibits around it. Because people don't come to visit very often. I guess they don't think too highly of scavenger animals. They'd rather see a lion or an elephant. Sometimes, I just like to come and sit outside his cage, sort things out in my mind. you visit so often. Oh, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy your visits. But don't you have things to do at home? No. Things to do for daddy? What do you know about that? Only what you tell me. I haven't told you anything. Oh, but you have, child. Every time you visit me, you tell me a little more. And I scatter your scatter. about what goes on in my house. I know your father does things. I know, poor child. But he makes you whoop. He says it's because he loves you whoop. He says it's because you're a good little girl. Are you a good little girl? Is that so? Does he call for you? Julie, Julie, come in daddy's room. I. I want you to do something for me. Sometimes. Sometimes he comes in my room while I'm sleeping. And slides into bed with you? Yes. Does he read you a bedtime story? No. He should. What? With the big bat wolf!
one time the hyena glass was covered. So I asked the zookeeper why, and he said that they got another female hyena on loan from another zoo to see if they would breed. I guess they wanted to give them privacy. There was a big black tarp over the glass. And a sign that said, exhibit closed to them. I, I, I heard noises. Terrible noises. It, it sounded like something was being hurt. I peeked under the tarp and I looked inside and I saw, I saw the hyena on top of the other hyena and, and she was kind of screaming like she was in pain but the more that she screamed the more she just dug into her and he had he had this snarl on his face, with his, his lips drawn back, his teeth gnashed. I just watched in horror as he scratched, bit, and roughed her all over the enclosure. He just, he wouldn't stop, he just kept at it, and I thought he was gonna kill her, and then, and then when, when she yelped and, and he made her fall on her face, I, I, I couldn't take it anymore and I ran away. And I stayed away for a while. I, I eventually went back. Child, now where have you been? Tart got your tongue. I saw what you did to the other hyena. Ah, oh, did you now? You were hurting her. The little bitch deserved it, you know. She was asking for it. Oh, no, she wasn't. You were hurting her. Well, now that's just your way of looking at it. it looked like you were hurting her. Looks can be deceiving. Just then. She'll soon have some pups, and there'll be more of my kind around. I hope they're better behaved than you are. Oh, I behave. I'm a good little hyena. You didn't have to hurt her. Don't you tell her! She, she 
doesn't need to know. She's got her own stuff to worry about. Well, maybe it's better she doesn't know what her little girl does. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm not sure she would approve. It's not my fault. He forced me to do that. I don't want to. Really? No. But you tell him you love him. Yes. yes and yes. you bathe with the door open. That's because he took the door away. And you do nothing to make him do these things. No. I think that maybe it's because you're a whore. No. You're a no. dirty bad girl. No, no. Maybe because no, you no. want it. No, you're shut a whore. Up. Shut up. Whore. Whore. Yesterday was my birthday. I think 14 will be a good year. They let my mom call me. She said, happy birthday, baby girl. Mama loves you. I told her I love her too and I really miss her. I even miss the hyena. Even though he was nasty to me, I know he didn't mean it. Yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday. Did you have a party? Oh, yes, my grandma had me one with balloons and everything. And a cake, a scrumptious cake. Mm-hmm, chocolate with frosted icing. Did you blow out all the candles? Yes. Did you get your wish? No. Look at what I made in our pack. He has a picture of you and me running in a field in, in, in Africa. Where, where are you from? Oh, that's nice. Why are we running? I don't know. To get away from something or someone? Maybe. Do we get away? Maybe. What if it was a cheetah, the fastest animal in the world? We couldn't run that fast. We could if we tried. But the cheetah's bigger and stronger. He'll catch us for sure. Maybe not. Maybe a, a bigger animal would stop him. Is there a bigger animal to stop him? There might be. One that would protect us, like um, like a tiger. A policeman. Or a lion. A neighbor. Or an elephant. A teacher. Someone! Flash up in your stomach and eat your guts! <laughs> Never do anything to hurt you. It's 
what my father says. But he still hurts you, doesn't he? Yes. Poor child. Always running and always getting caught. Well, my mother will be coming home soon. Will she now? I'm sure of it. That's good. There's always hope, child. Is that? I, I am sorry. Get out of her. <laughs> <laughs> 